Hey, what's up guys? On Monday, August 17th, I was tested positive for COVID-19. So in this video, I wanna share my experience with you guys, how I dealt with it, what it felt like, how I was able to beat it. And uh, yeah, give you guys some insights on that. And also, if you're watching this and you're dealing with COVID-19, uh, it will serve you as an encouragement for you to beat the shit out of this virus as well, okay? Anyways, um, how I got it. I don't know, I have absolutely no idea, you know? Um, I've been to restaurants, been to gyms, uh, I could have gotten the elevator as I was coming upstairs. You would never know. But as I was doing back tracing with someone from BC Health, uh, I told them that the Friday before that, I went to Whistler to do a day, uh, to do a white river rafting tour with my team. And he said, hey, I spoke to like five or six people who went to the same tour that also got tested positive. Uh, seems like there's a cluster of cases that's happening out of that particular area makes me think that I actually got it from there, but we'll never know. Anyway, <clears throat> so the first day of symptoms, basically I was on Friday, my throat felt a little bit tingly. <coughs> I still have a little bit of cough, so as I'm doing this, I might be coughing. <coughs> but a little bit of tingly sensation and uh, didn't think anything of it, drank some water, you know, my day went on. Uh, that day we actually ended up driving to a Soyuz to attend a three-day Camaro driving academy to learn how to drive you know, cars fast and, and whatnot. So went there and it was really hot in the Soyuz, 40 degrees in the mountains. So uh, felt a little bit weird, a little bit nauseous, a little bit dizzy and lightheaded. But again, I just thought it was because of my environment. So the first day of driving school, Saturday, we went to practice driving these cars, you know, going fast, stop, turning and this and that. And I just got really, really nauseous and dizzy. So I stopped driving and I actually went back to my hotel and I passed out for like three hours. I woke up, felt a lot better and got some food. And um, yeah, that's pretty much that. I mean, my, there was still a little bit of tingly uh, sensation in my throat. <coughs> I felt a little bit dizzy and lightheaded, but I just thought that was because of my environment, right? So the next day, um, actually that evening, I went to go pick my friend Tony and he basically said, you know, we should go get tested for COVID. And I said, what? Like, what's the, why? Like, what's the point? This is just, it's the weather, it's hot and it's, you know, it's nothing to worry about and it wasn't anything crazy. And he's like, you should just go get it for your safety of mind. That's for a safety of mind. So I was like, all right, okay. So as we're coming back, I drove past by a hospital, went inside, got the nose swab test, and um, yeah, took my temperature, no fevers, normal breathing. Other than that, I just felt, I felt fine. So when I saw that I don't have a fever, uh, it was very, you know, encouraging, right? Um, so I just, we went, went, went out for dinner and that evening came home, slept the whole, uh, slept the whole night. Next day, woke up, felt fine, felt rested and went back to the driving school, drove the car for pretty much the full day, and then drove back to Vancouver after. The next day, Monday, is the first day that I felt more symptoms. I felt extreme, extreme fatigue. I was so tired. I slept from like 10 a.m. until 10, sorry, 10 p.m. until 10 a.m., and I woke up and I still was really, really tired. An hour later, I received a phone call from the Interior Health saying that I was tested positive from my test that was done on Saturday. So from there, it was a little scary at first because your mind started playing tricks on you, right? Oh, am I gonna die? That's, you know, a first thing that comes across my mind. Um, it, it's, yeah, a lot of these scary thoughts come up and, um, and I was in bed. There was nothing else I can do. I couldn't, you know, go outside. Um, Thank God my girlfriend was helping me. She, you know, I was in our living, uh, our bedroom and she was giving me all the medication or, you know, the vitamins, um, water, food, whatever I needed, just left outside the door and I'll grab it, go in my bedroom and just isolate. And as the first day went by, you know, no other symptoms, just again, a little bit of headache, fatigue. The next day I noticed that some muscle aches started right, my back muscles, my legs started hurting quite a bit. 
uh, again, fatigue. Fatigue was the one thing that just carried out this entire, entire thing. I had no energy at all. Extreme, extreme fatigue. And then muscle pain started actually um, become more advanced and it just really hurts every single time I try to move somewhere. I try to get up, I try to turn over, I try to go to the washroom. Uh, everything just hurts a lot. And then I lost my taste, I lost my smell, day two. That sucked and I lost all my appetite. That sucked as well. I remember ordering all these food and stuff like that and you would just taste the texture. You wouldn't taste any smell, there's no smell or taste. And out of all the food that I tried, here's a fun fact. If you have COVID and you can taste something, never get pasta. Pasta is the worst food to eat when you can't taste it. The texture is not very good, right? Uh, ramen ended up being pretty good. So anyways, salad as well. Uh, I just took a lot of vitamins every single day. I drank a lot of water, a lot of water. And as days went by, I started having the shivers. I started having the chills. And in the evening, I would wake up and my entire bed would be completely soaked. Um, and I started developing a fever and it started getting a lot worse before I got better actually. So yeah, I mean, one of the things about this 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 virus is the fact that you can't go outside. So for 10 days, I was in my bedroom. Um, pretty sure majority of the time was literally just laying in bed, um, watching stupid videos and killing time really. And really understood to just take things day by day because I remember the day three when I got this, I felt like I was getting better and I got all excited. I'm like, wow, I'm healthy, I'm beating this. <clears throat> and then it just came crashing down. I, you know, so yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't wanna talk too much about the symptoms. Uh, I think the point that I'm trying to make is, you know, a lot of people say, well, is it that bad? Is it this, is it that? I'll just say that I was in bed for 10 days. I was literally in bed. Um, and if that doesn't tell you how bad this is, then I don't know what else. Because I've had fevers before. I wasn't in bed for 10 days. I was in bed maybe a day or two, that's it. So um, yeah, just be careful out there, guys. I never thought I was gonna get this, ever. I don't go to the pub, I don't go to parties, I don't go to places I'm not supposed to go, practice social distancing, washing my hands. But uh, the only thing I didn't do is wear a mask. And now that I'm better, I'm healthier, I am definitely gonna wear a mask, even though I have the antibodies now, but there's no way in hell that I'm gonna catch this again because it's not worth it, okay? It is not worth it. So I am gonna protect myself at all times. And um, yeah, this, this thing is no joke. Anyways, wanted to come on here and share my experience with you guys. Uh, share with you guys a little bit of what it's like. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I am just very grateful, very thankful um, to be healthy again. I wanna give a big shout out to my friend Dan Kogan as well, if you're watching this. He uh, dropping off groceries at my place, you know, because I couldn't go outside to do stuff. Uh, whenever I needed something from the grocery store, Dan would drop them off for me. So I'm very grateful to have a friend like that in my life. And, um, but yeah, that's, you know, that's pretty much that. So anyways, <coughs> I still have a little bit of cough, but I'm pretty much free to go now. Every single day, uh, a nurse from, from BC Health was calling me to check up on me to make sure that I'm doing okay and to make sure that I'm still breathing properly and so on and so forth. And uh, so yeah, that's that. Anyways, wanted to just make this video and yeah, I am back. I am ready to live life again. And uh, don't take any sec don't take anything for granted and truly live the life that, uh, that you want because I mean, tomorrow's not promised, so. All right, guys, be careful out there. Hopefully this video was uh, fun and entertaining and uh, educational. <coughs> and that's it, I'm out.